Hello friends in Christ, we have come again this uh, new week, the fifth week in the ordinary time um, to reflect on God's calling and the way he calls us. It's quite different from the way we think. Today we have in the first reading, Prophet Isaiah, a great prophet of the Old Testament, one of the major prophets. When he was called, he saw the emptiness in him and how he was not even qualified to answer the call of God. Peter himself was also called in the gospel today and we saw how he told the Lord to leave him alone because he is unworthy and unqualified. We see that oftentimes in our lives. The one thing that is very important is that the Lord calls us the way we are, but does not leave us the way we are. So the confidence we have, the joy we have, is that the Lord does not make anything strange out of us. He comes to us the way we are and pick it up, pick us, pick us up the way we are and then make us the way he wants us to be. What we need to reflect on is how much have we cooperated in allowing the Lord to walk in us to make us the way he wants us to be. Isaiah cooperated. He wasn't worthy. His tongue was filled with filth. He even exclaimed it when he heard the angels singing, Holy, Holy, Holy. He could not behold their face. Peter today had to tell Jesus to leave him alone because of his unworthiness. So when the Lord comes to us, he reveals a deeper part of us to us. And what that calls us to do is to always surrender to him. To always follow in the path that he leads us if we do that then we are actually responding to discipleship which is what we are all called to do and so all of us should in this new week the fifth week of the ordinary time reflect on where we are where is the Lord leading us are you still where you were when the Lord called you or have you opened up to where he is leading you, to where he wants you to be, to where he wants you to become the true disciple. Peter left everything and followed Jesus. We are also called to leave everything and follow Jesus. Isaiah allowed God to touch his tongue. We are also called to allow God to touch us in the way that we experience his powerful transformation. So I urge you all of you, my brothers and sisters, to reflect this new week. Where are you? Where has the Lord led you to? How have you cooperated into the journey of, of transformation?